Hey guys, going to take you through OWP 15.1, which is going to be the beginning of the adjusting entries. We did introduce some of these last year, but very elementary style. And we, in the last chapter, we did the uncollectible accounts expense adjustment. So now we're going to do the rest. So let's go to OWP 15.1. You will be responsible to do these work together and on your own, and then the master problem. So although I'm doing them here with slash for you, you're going to follow along and also do the on your own and then submit it on your account. All right, so let's go into the work together. And here we have all of our general ledgers. And down here we have which, what is called an unadjusted trial balance. So this is, I'm not really sure why they have the, us do this, but it is what it is. Um, these are the account balances before we do our adjustments. Okay, so we'll have to fill in some of the boxes, not all of them, but we will have to fill in some of them. Okay, so remember your three line heading is always who, what, when. So who is south side electric? What is unaddressed to child balance? And uh, the date is going to be December 31st, 20 dash dash. Okay, so they put in most of the stuff. We're just going to have to fill in what's missing. Um, they are getting, we're getting all of this from up here. Okay, so if we were to pin this, let's bring this over. It might be easier. Okay, so we have pat, cash, petty cash, accounts receivable, allowance for uncollectible. So let's go get allowance for uncollectible accounts. Let's click on that. Let's get our balance. And our balance there is a credit of 48.67. Then we're going to scroll down. And we have merchandise inventory, supplies office, and supply store. So let's grab supply store. And the balance there, it's an asset, so it should be a debit of 4483 Then we'll scroll, keep on scrolling. We have prepaid insurance, notes receivable, interest receivable, office equipment. Okay. Under office equipment, you have accumulated depreciation office equipment. So that's a contra asset account. So this will show up when we do chapter 16 with our financial statements. But for now, this just goes against that. So your office equipment is always going to be valued at what you bought it for. And then the accumulated depreciation will bring it down to what its real value is. So accumulated depreciation, let's go there. It should, it's a contra asset, so it should have a credit balance. There we go, uh, $23.95. Okay, and let's keep on scrolling. What do we got left? Federal income tax payable. We're going to do an adjustment for income tax payable. So if we go to federal income tax payable, there is no balance. So we're going to leave a blank. Okay, income summary. It would have been nothing happened yet in income summary, so that will be blank. Depreciation expense. Office equipment, we're going to do an adjustment there. Store, we're going to do an adjustment there. So they have no balances. This one is going to be after your depreciation. We have insurance expense. Let's see what the balance is there. Nothing. And let's just check out supplies expense. We're going to do adjustments for all these. So at this point, they should have a zero balance. but just so you can see, okay, zero balance. On collectible accounts expense, okay, zero balance. This is gonna be totals, because we have more than one column. And when we do our math, which I did already, it's 624, 362.52. This is a trial balance. The purpose of a trial balance is to make sure that your debits and credits tie. So these two should have, they should tie. 
Okay, and let's just unpin that and let's grade this step. So that step really is just filling stuff in from your ledgers, not a big deal. Okay, so we're just gonna go through and we're gonna see that. Okay, now our next step. These first adjustments, we did an accounting one. Uh, we did the elementary version, like I said, but these are nothing new to introduce. So, but I will go over them with you. It says, journalize the adjusting entries for supplies and prepaid insurance. The adjusting entry for allowance for uncollectible accounts have been recorded. These are the other ones what, that we did last chapter, if you remember. Okay, so what we're doing is we're comparing, this is what you have left at the end of the year. Okay, the unadjusted child balance is what you started with. So let's go to adjustment data, uh, office supplies. Right here, 3108. Oh, wait. So 3108.08 minus what they're saying we have left of 548. So our adjustment there is going to be 256008. I'm just going to write this down for a minute so I don't lose that number. I'm just going to do all my math and then I'll go back in. Store supplies. I go back to my unadjusted and I go supply store 44. 4483.62 minus the 640 is what they're saying I have left. So I used 3843.62. Again, I'm just writing it down on my pad, my notepad, and then I'll come back to it. And then prepaid insurance is 1600. That's what I have left. I started with 11,200. So 11,200 minus my 1,600, 9,600 for my insurance. Okay, so for all of these, you're gonna debit an expense and you're gonna credit the asset to get the asset value down to where it should be. All right, these are all occurring at the same time, but we do need a date for each transaction. We're gonna debit the expense and credit the asset to get the asset value down to where it should be. So the first one is for office supplies. So in the general ledger, it's labeled supplies office. So we're gonna do supplies expense dash office. That's gonna be for the amount that I've used, which I wrote down as 2560.08. And we're gonna credit our asset as supplies My next transaction is for the supply store. So 31 is my date. You can triple click these and just copy them down and then just change the word office to store. But don't forget to change the word or it will be incorrect. The amount there that we calculated already was 3843.62. And then my final transaction there is going to be for my insurance. So I'm going to debit my insurance expense with a 9600. And I'm going to credit prepaid insurance. Once I post all of these, my assets will be down to where they should be. So I'm going to go ahead and grade that. And you will see that we were done correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Okay, you need to complete the work together and practice on your own by yourself. I'll be back.